Uh, it's an honour to be here to present these awards celebrating our talented cinematographers. These creatives take a writer's words and a director's vision and bring them to life on screen. They hold the keys to the language of light and shade, movement and perspective, and to the technical means by which to realise an inchoate idea. They're the director's closest ally during the shoot, and they have learned to see in a way that translates a place, a moment, or an idea into the reality of cinema. In terms of my own work, I know The Stranger would not be the film it is without that perspective, without the lens of our cinematographer. These individuals take something ineffable and they give it form, and their work can come to define a production. This year's nominees for Best Cinematography in a Documentary are... A fire inside, Josh Flavelle. It was so hard yeah. to know that I couldn't save my own family. Anonymous Club, Danny Cohen. It's amazing how different a live performance can be from day to day. Facing Monsters, Rick Rafici. You can't do anything more insane than that. It was, it was crazy. Mountain Adventure, Out of Bounds. Cam Batten, Casper Mazzotti, Nick Robinson. I realise I'm one of the lucky few that will ever get to travel down here. Puff, Wonders of the Reef, Daniel Stupin, Pete West. He'll have to move on in search of a healthy reef to call home. And the Actor Award goes to Facing Monsters. This is Rick Rafici's first Actor Award. He's previously been nominated for Best Cinematography and Film for his work on Breathe in 2018 and Drift in 2013. Uh, stoked, thank you very much. Um, I haven't really got anything prepared, but I'd um, like to thank Beyond, uh, Beyond West, Frank, Suze, uh, Fee, and all the team out there for believing in uh, Kirby's story. Uh, to the agencies, Screen West and Screen Australia for their support. Um, without them, we wouldn't be able to capture it in the way we did. Um, also to Jeremy Ashton, who was our um, audio operator and also um, drone operator. We put him in some pretty sticky situations and um, he did a brilliant job. Um, to the Browns family for letting us into their lives and letting us capture everything. Um, they're a very recluse sort of um, family, so we were honoured to be able to, uh, that they trusted their story in us. And uh, last but not least, my wife Sonia, who's been my, um, you know, strong, strong behind me the whole way through my career, so thank you very much. Thanks everyone. <laughs> 